What I have here is a front deer shoulder that I went ahead and trimmed as much as that thick fat as I could off of it. Now I'm seasoning with Uncle Chris Gourmet and a little bit of cayenne pepper just to give it some kick. Now you could season it with whatever you want. Salt, pepper, garlic works really good. But when you season it, you want to make sure you pat that seasoning into the meat. And a good thick piece of meat like this, you could go ahead and put quite a bit. Now this is a front deer shoulder. This is something that a lot of people, it's the first thing they give away, but I guarantee you it's very delicious. Go ahead and start by putting some butter in a nice hot pan. Followed by that, you're going to go ahead and throw in your front shoulder in there and let it sear easily anywhere between a minute, maybe two minutes per side. And you want to sear that all the way around, just like you see here. Now we're adding butter because this deer meat is very lean. It's a front shoulder, deer is already lean as it is. So the more butter, the merrier. You can even add uh, pork fat if you want in there. Wagyu pork tallow works good, but I'm adding some diced garlic. That's all I had, I didn't have any actual cloves and I'm gonna add some pickle juice. Yes, you saw that right, it's some pickle juice because pickle helps break down the leg really well. Now what I did is I added some water in the skillet to get all those natural ju meat juices in there. So that looks like it's covered up pretty well. And this is on the crock pot after about four hours. You see most of it was done. I even threw the ankle, the leg shank in there. But I mean, it's just falling apart. Now the, you can shred this. It's gonna shred real easily, just like you see here. You can add salt to taste if it needs if it needs it. And out of the liquid that's left in the crock pot, you can even make a good gravy out of it. Do some biscuits and gravy early in the morning. I mean, there's lots of things you can do with this. But after I let it cool for about five minutes, I went ahead and hand shredded it. It's very soft, not gamey at all. I mean, I'm pretty sure anybody would really enjoy it, especially if they're trying deer meat for the first time. Now I'm gonna make me a quesadilla taco. I'm adding some Oaxaca cheese. I'm gonna add a good amount of the de shredded deer meat. And boy, was this good, guys. This is good for a tailgate party. This is good for barbecuing on a Sunday. But as you see here, I mean, that looks delicious. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that's good. 10 out of 10. Very, very good. Now, I just decided to make a quesadilla. You can go ahead and use it in the morning, kind of like barbacoa, put some salsa, some aguacate, some salt. It'll be good. Mix it in with some eggs. I mean, there's many possibilities you can do with this. But hope you like the recipe. If you have any ideas or other things that you might want to see me cook on the channel, please let me know. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe.